Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Vinyl Figures from Funko. Now, these are Funko figures, but they're not pop figures. Even though there is an advertisement online showing the pop logo in the corner, but nowhere on the box does it ever clarify that it's a pop. And plus, look at the eyes. You can tell it's not a pop. So whoever did that, I don't know. They goofed. So these have been out since late last year, and I've had them since Christmas. It's just I'm finally taking a look at these. And you can find these uh, either in Targets or GameStops or other places in like malls that sell pop figures. However, if you wanna to try to order these online, which you can, it'll be blind. You can't choose exactly which one you want. But there is a set of six. So if you do wanna try to get the full set, I would say try ordering six, but that's not gonna guarantee you the full set, but we'll see what happens. But as you can tell on the back of the box, we got Crash, Coco, Cortex, Ripper Roo, Nitrous Oxide, and Polar. Now, the thing that got me the most excited about this figure set was Ripper Roo because there is no Ripper Roo merch. We were supposed to get a figure back in the early 2000s, but we never did. Or at least 1999, somewhere around that area. Point is, the people who made the figures back then, Rosaurus, uh, they were supposed to make a Series 3 with Ripper Roo in it, but it got canceled because they went under, and sadly, we never got them. So, this figure line, Funko, is making the first Ripper Roo figure, and I'm excited. And it's what got me excited about this line in general. They may eventually make a pop, I kind of hope they do, but we'll see what happens. So when you get these things brand new, they're also shrunk wrap, and there's like a little twist tie, but like one of those plastic ones that goes across them. I didn't think that was all completely necessary, and the shrink wrap looks god awful. I can't see a single collector who's going to keep that thing on them. But I was showing you earlier, on the top of the box we got the logo, bottom we got a thing saying, hey, don't litter and don't be a hoarder. Then on each side we also got a couple of the characters as well. Now I would show you all the figures on screen, but sadly, um, I don't have the real estate for that. So I'm just going to show them off one at a time, but I do have the full set. So obviously we got Crash, next we got Coco, then we got our boy Cortex, then we got Polar, we also got Nitrous Oxide, and my main boy Ripper Root. Yeah, that's the main reason why I got this whole set and I'm freaking happy. Now these figures are about like $7 a piece I believe, I think it depends on where you go, but yeah, they're not relatively expensive, and I love the way they look, but it's gonna kind of hard to see them from the box, so let's take them all out and take a closer look. And this is the full set out of the box, so we're gonna be taking a closer look on each individual figure and going over a little analysis on each one, see how each one looks. So first up, let's pay attention to our main boy, Crash. Now the first thing I want to say about these figures before I get into like how they look individually is... I've wanted Crash Team Racing little figures like this since I was a little kid. Like, I was in elementary school when Crash Team Racing first came out, and I always wanted, like, Hot Wheels or something, but instead we got this, I want to say an RC car, but it was, like, a wire, so you didn't have the true freedom of, like, playing with him, like, across, like, the yard or your kitchen table or kitchen floor i don't know and even then he could only go forward and backwards turning you didn't have that much control with him now that we got like a full set of characters like it's not the complete full set but like we got more variety because when those came out it was only crash and cortex and i've had crash when i was a kid but now i sadly don't have them so now that we got these new figures how do they hold up compared to those ones well, I can't compare them because I don't have it anymore, but uh, I, I could just go with memory, I guess. So the way these guys look is so immaculate. Like, I wish the orange was a little bit brighter on Crash, but I think he still looks fine nevertheless. I love the pose they went with because like, it looks very similar to their pop release. Give me one sec. I have that like right next to me. Here we go. Uh, okay, I can't fit that all in the frame. Let me let me try it again. There we go. It looks a little bit better. So yeah, like so the poses are similar, but they're not the same. While with the pop, he has his foot on the seat. While with the, the mini crash, uh, he's actually driving. So this is like more of like when he's like jumping off a ramp. This, these are just like silly poses, like when he's driving, I guess. And I I love the way these look so much. But let's get the pop out of the way. We're not reviewing that. But yeah, crash is painted very well. Like. 
I'm actually shocked like how well they painted his chest, especially like with all this stuff in the way. Like, obviously, they painted that first and then just put him in later, I guess. But like, I love the way he looks. Like, like the little stripe on the back, they do this with all the pops. So like, if you don't like that aesthetic, I'm sorry, but I mean, I think it looks fine. For a seven dollar figure, I'm not gonna complain too much. Uh, I wish the wheels could move so you could actually like roll these around, but these are vinyl figures. They're not supposed to be like really played with. They're just like supposed to look good. But I think if anything, like I'm also kind of happy that they don't move because where they're sitting on my shelf, uh, it's kind of tilted, so they would just fall off all the time. So I'm happy that it's not there. <laughs> Since the fact that they don't have moving wheels, like that's like probably a hit and miss for some people. Some people like it. Some people hate it. I don't know. That's completely your call. But yeah, for the most part, Crash is painted extremely well. Like I love the way the cart looks. Like everything looks great. And plus, like with his tongue sticking out like that, like he honestly looks adorable when he's driving like that. So overall, solid figure. Now let's move on to Coco. All right, so far Coco looks fantastic too. Like I love the shade of pink they use on the cart, but I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this bottom part and this top part are like two different shades of pink. I don't know if this is like painted over some other color and it's making it look like that, or maybe I'm just high. I don't know. It's hard to tell on camera, but like in person, like I can definitely see something. But like I said earlier with Crash, like the way like the characters are painted like, is immaculate. I, I did a fantastic job. Uh, I don't know how to feel about the exhausts not like being proportional, uh, not proportional. Like they're not parallel to each other. Like that may be because of like how her hair is sculpted, but I don't know, that, that's a little bit bothersome, but I'm not looking at these figures from behind, so like, it's not gonna bother me too much. And we got a couple of missed paints on the tire as well. I don't know if all the figures are gonna be like this, like when it comes to like the exhaust being tilted like that, but I guess that's just a flaw. But again, like that's gonna be from behind, so like you're not even gonna pay attention to that all too much. But like, I love her pose, like how she's like turning and trying to drive, like it looks great. And like her arms look all tiny too, because... She's so tiny. This is a great looking figure. Next up, we got Cortex, and he's also looking pretty immaculate as well. Uh, he's like looking all angry. Suppose like he's driving past Crash, and he's like, "Ugh, curse you, Crash Bandicoot!" And like, uh, there's a little bit of mist paint on the exhaust right there. But like, again, you're looking at these from the front, so it's not gonna matter all too much. But the pose he chose is fantastic. Again, most of the cart looks pretty great too. Just another solid figure. Next up, we got Polar, which Honestly, I like Polar a lot, mainly because I love the shading on the nose, like like the bridge between the nose and like in between his eyes. Like, I don't think that was completely necessary, but I think that looks absolutely fantastic. That They did a good job on that one. And I love the little paw prints and everything, and his little claws. Like, I love the way that looks. That's absolutely adorable as well. And I also love this shade of like ice blue. Like, that looks so good. Technically, I believe we also got some polar merch in the past as well like i know my crash piggy bank has polar on there and we were supposed to get a polar figure again from series three of resource so we never got anything from the us i don't think but hey uh we got more polar merch now so that's neat and i just noticed like here i'm not sure how well you could tell but like under polar like where like under the seat is like under down there there's like white arrows i believe the rest of these characters have arrows on them as well but it's just tough to see because like I think the only other character you could probably see it would be with, with Crash, but his is all painted black. But Polar's has like white on it. I don't know if that's like a mist paint uh, with the manufacturing on my particular figure, or if that's gonna be on every other figure. Cause like I also see on the seat too, uh, some white paint over right there. But if anything, it just also brings out that, that attention to detail. Like they didn't have to do that. I mean the treads on the tires, sure they probably had to do that, but like like where like I don't know the floor is. They didn't have to do that because I wouldn't have paid attention to that because it would have been hard to see anyway. But they did it and it looks great. And man, Polar really blends in with the background. Sweet Lord. Next up, we got Nitrous Oxide. Now, this is not the first Nitrous figure that we've ever gotten. The Pop figure that we got previously before this, that was our first piece of uh, Nitrous Oxide merch, which is really neat because I didn't think we were ever going to get a figure of that. But this one also looks really cool because he's in his little ship. So, of course, he absolutely looks fantastic. Like, I didn't even pay too much attention to this figure when I got it. Like, I just got it. I'm like, all right, cool, put it on the shelf. But, like, this is, like, the first time me looking at him from the back. And, honestly, that looks freaking dope. Like, this looks so immaculate. This is incredible. I never really appreciated Nitrous Oxide's design before. But, 
and then again, I've mainly paid attention to him because of the PS1 game. I didn't really pay attention to him too much in the remake. But now that I see like actual physical merch that I can actually hold and like observe properly, like this looks cool. This is really cool. I have the pop as well. I kind of want to take it out of the box just so I can get a closer look at it. But not in this video. I'm going to do that behind the scenes. So for, for you pop collectors, so you don't cringe at it. And I saved the best for last. Ripper Roo. Oh boy. Now, what's there to not love about Ripper Roo? Well, the, the, the seam lines on his face. I wish they weren't too visible, but I'll live with it. I love the way he looks in a stray jacket. Like, that's really great. Uh, of course, a couple of mist paints as well, but that's going to vary from figure to figure, so I'm not going to knock it too much. But for a first piece of Ripper Roo merch, I'm. I'm pleased. I'm happy. This looks so great. Like, this figure alone is worth picking up because he's just so cool. But honestly, I say pick up the whole line because the whole line's pretty cool. But finally, a Ripper Roo figure. Sweet. And I mean, it's just like the other Crash Racers in there. Like, uh, Cart looks good. He looks good. But man, I love a stray jacket though. That's too cool. And also, one thing I don't like about Ripper Roo in the, re the remakes they got rid of that iconic cartoon laugh like i feel like that's actually a generic voice clip uh, that they just put on him because i feel like i've heard that somewhere else as well somewhere that's not crash bandicoot but like i don't know it's that's the laugh like when you hear that laugh you think ripper roo and now they got rid of that laugh and it bothers me but he'll always have that laugh in my heart but anyway this figure's rad i like it like this Oh, man, I traveled like 45 minutes to get this one. <laughs> was it worth it? But yeah, yeah kind of. I probably could have saved a little bit of money because like I spent like $10 in gas to get that thing. And I could have spent like 17 bucks on eBay just to get it. <laughs> but no, 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 I'll, I'll travel to get it and just get it that day. Screw it. Why not? And besides, screw scalpers. Don't give them profits. So let's take a look at all of them on the counter again. Let, let's see how that looks again. And that is the full lineup. So getting the whole set, depending on where your taxes is from, it's probably gonna be about like $45 or so, but are they worth it? I mean, they look great. Like we never had miniature Crash Team Racing figures before. So this is like the only one of its kind. And plus, you know, Ripper Roo merch finally. So I think Ripper Roo alone is worth getting the whole set. And plus they just look fantastic. Now trying to get them is probably gonna be your biggest struggle because uh, when they have a display, uh, it has 12 figures per box. So if you can find a fresh box, you're gonna be pretty much guaranteed to get you, yourself a full set. But because this is the only piece of Ripper Roo merch, he's probably gonna be the hardest one to find because people are gonna probably be scalping him. But overall, like these figures are so worth picking up, totally find them if you can i would say call around each like target or gamestop especially gamestop gamestop actually knows what they have target i feel like you're better off just looking inside and hope for the best because i'm pretty confident they're not online but if you want well what i can do for you real quick is here if you have the target app you can probably search it from upc let me see if i can real quick before i actually do that a few moments later never mind i tried doing it from both gamestop and target and Neither of them are working. So I guess it really is a store by store basis. So you're probably gonna have to actually just go in there and look for yourself. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you diehard Crash fans probably already have the full set anyway. So I'm probably kind of late to the party on this one. But if you don't have them yet, uh, good luck. I wish you luck trying to find these things. Like I've seen some complete sets out in the wild as well after I've gotten these. So I really hope you can get them because they're totally worth picking up. And each location may have different prices as well. But if you can't find them in store, um, places where you can get them online, I will provide links in the description. I'll have Best Buy if they're still in stock, Big Bad Toy Store, and Box Lunch. The only thing that sucks is you can't choose which one you want. So I guess try your best to order six. But if you're going to try to buy the full set, don't go to Best Buy because they only let you order five at a time. So my best guess is go to Big Bad Toy Store or Box Lunch and just hope for the best. But that concludes my overall look on these figures like these are really awesome i almost want to go for the kid robot figures as well but like they've been discontinued for a while so completing that that's going to be annoying but i'm not going to worry about it too much like, like that's not going to be top priority but god these are really cool i really like these and let me know in the comments which one of these figures is your favorite mine obviously is ripper Roo, but god 
some of the other ones look really cute too, like Crash and Polar. They look fantastic as well. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, and if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's my social media. So if you want to follow those, by all means, especially my Instagram, because I've actually taken some pictures of these in different poses. I know they're, they're not articulated. You can't pose them too much. But I, I've arranged them. I've made some of them look pretty cool. So check out my Instagram. You might like it. But thank you for watching. I, I love you guys so much. And I uh, will see y'all in the next one. I don't know the next time I'm going to do a figure review. But... These are neat. And because of copper, I'm not sure how many of these I can do, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.